Hello everyone, welcome to the class. Today we'll be discussing discussing about the chapter third of the module three, that is a local a replication. Uh, why a replication of the data is being needed, right? Why, what is the purpose of that, and what are the terminologies associated with this one? So we'll be looking into those contents. Any uh, there is any sort of a disaster or if uh, the data is not been available then we need to go for the restoring of the data and at that same time we need to make sure uh, the business is going to continue or i can say that the operation has to uh, restart right so for that purpose uh, this replication of the data is a uh, very much important uh, so it is a uh, uh, the in the replication what you are trying to do is you are going to create an exact copy of that data so the way the data was being there or uh, the system was being there you are trying to make sure the system you are going to get in the same way itself for example uh, the way you have been uh, uh, designed and all you the the way uh, the desktop background is there the icons have been there so all that has to be in the same place so that is how you are going to create a replica or you i can say that you are going to restart and restore from where you have been lost all right for example any transactions you have been doing it or any file you are any any application you have been filled it you want it already whatever is been done you want it the same to be there instead of restarting from the beginning if you recover that all data uh, then what is there half of the work is being done right now in this one also whenever we are been uh, uh, getting the data there's a lot uh, many a times the data is been lost or the disaster might occur because of which the data the replication of the data has to be done so there are two types of the replication the first one is the local replication and we are having the another one is a remote rep a replication in a local replication you are going to replicate the data within the same array or within the same data center and in the report uh, remote uh, re uh, replication you are trying to replicate the data from the remote side so that means you are going to get the data from the different uh, geographical location but the same data so let us look at the some terminologies what are being used in the replication the first one is the source uh, it is the host that is accessing the data it can be your devices volumes or anything it can be there the second one is the target uh, it's a logical unit on which your pro uh, production uh, data is being replicated right from the source suppose in case you have the source from this one you are copying it or you are replicating so this is going to act as the source and this is going to act as the target right so this is how the data is being taken place the third one is the point in time and the continuous replica where you are going to uh, replicas it can be either um, point in time means at that particular time you are going to create the exact copy of the source within that particular period of time for example if i say that at a four o'clock if in case the screen of my uh, and this presentation is in this way then when i uh, recover or when i replicate that one i should get the same way at this particular time where i have been put a right mark where i've been written for and this image is been displayed now suppose if in case i create a smiley so at this particular point the same things have to be replicated right so this is called as point in time the next one is a recover a recoverability and restartability where it is going to restore the data using all these replicas from the source and the data is not been corrupted and in restartability you are going to restart all the business operations using these replicas so that when i'm been saying it should be consistent both you can recover and you can restart the operations from where you have been started right so it is not going to cut consume much of the time moving on uh, what are the uses of uh, these uh, replicas why do we need these replicas the first one is to have alternate source for the backup in case uh, there is any uh, disaster being taken place then you are able to write the data you are going to get back the data from those logical units and you are going to restart the operation without wasting much of the time 
right and also it is not involving much of the operations because uh, it is going to create the exact operation being there so you are able to back up very easily the second one is a fast recovery because if the data is being corrupted uh, because you need to get that one before it is being compromised right uh, so that it is going to help you to uh, get the data and also you are able to recover the data and uh, uh, you can check again you can restart the operation from the time you had been stopped right so this is going to help you in the business operations uh, now for example if you think that you are placing a order and all of suddenly the, the there is a power loss right and when you restart the system you have to make sure that whatever the data is been lost you have to recover that means where you had been stopped you have to get that one so that is how the replica is being created right then you are going to use it in the decision support uh, activities where you are going to reduce the io operations uh, for the production of the device and the next one is it is used for testing the platform these are local replicas uh, whenever you are coming up with uh, any new applications and all or you are trying to upgrade that one so you are using the previous replicas the screenshots and all and then you are going to check whether it is going to really help and this is going to reduce the time and also it is going to have a successful testing and the next one is data migration using these uh, replicas you are able to move the data from the smaller capacity to the larger capacity as you are only just creating the replicas right you are not going to store all the completely data so this is going to help in terms of the storage where you are going to reduce in the storage and increase the more uh, capacity all right then uh, replica consistency now as we have been said that we are going to create uh, the replica or I can say that the exact copy is being created right I can say the replica here is like a twin right I need to make sure that it is being consistent that means it is the same as it was been there in the previous it is not been changing even in terms of the seconds right now when I say this uh, uh, the data has to be uh, consistent that means each and every IO operation, the every device, it has to give me the data in that same way itself. Right? And uh, this consistency when I am been talking, it is in terms of the file and also in terms of the database. And uh, whenever we are using this consistency, uh, the especially we are going to use the help of the cache and uh, we need to make sure it is being flushed. That means no other uh, operations or no other uh, data is being available and we are able to recover complete operations of the uh, what is that, uh, the operations that is being performed and we are going to get back the data right and uh, the next one now you can check here the consistency in the replicated file system right so here in the file system before the data is being moved to the what you say the storage we need to make sure that the replica is being created and it is being the same if in case any changes are being made the same copies have to be made for example if i say that i have a file right here there are the two files mm, the the square what i'm been taking is a uh, different now if in case i write it as a1 right the same a1 has to be there now in case i have put a dot over here and the dot is been missing then this is not called as a replicated copy there is a change in this one right for that purpose in the unix system uh, we have a sync daemon file right this is a command that is being used from where the application whatever you have been created it is being mounted onto the file system you can check here we are using the memory buffers right where the data is being buffered every time you have been uh, writing the data uh, to the physical disk before that it will be buffered right from there it will be moved to the cache and from the cache it will be copied to your secondary storage before it has been moved here this memory buffers are placing a very important role from this memory buffers it is moved to the logical manager then the physical drive and this is the source and the copy is being created you can see here the replica is being created now whenever the replica is being sent we have to make sure that this memory buffers are being clear if in case any sort of a data is been available that has to be flushed out before it is been returned to the source 
right because if in case there are inconsistent data or i can say that if in case you have been changing many a times the file and it uh, and it is been uh, copied to the source right and again you rechange and you are been performing multiple operations and before it has been copied to the source device and if you replicate then what happens the data will be called as inconsistent data because you are not going to get the exact copy what you have been done okay now for example if i say that i have written in one copy as a and the in the another copy i have been changed it as a right before now if in case this particular copy is been stored in the source and it is already been replicated but meantime the buffer is not been flushed right and i've been said as been a and it is not been copied to the source and i try to replicate this particular copy then what happens the uh, file system is going to give me the different images right because of which the data is going to be inconsistent this is the one way to get the replicated uh, data using the file system uh, usually if you go for your unix system or your ubuntu you are going to see everything is in terms of the file system you are not going to take any term anything in terms of the database and the next one is we are looking in terms of the consistency in replicated data using the database as you know that in the database when i am been talking uh, it's a collection of the related documents it can be done online and offline when i say uh, online and offline offline usually it is easy for us to get the consistent data because uh, no, no operations will be performed the database will be set back and you are able to replicate the data whatever is being done right so this is very easy for us to get the consistent replicas of the data that you have been processed all the time right but when it comes to the online each and every time i can say every second the data is being changed right uh, for example if you take the banking database is an online database and every second the transactions have been taking place right now in such a way that you have to make sure every second or every nanosecond what operations have been taking that copy has to be maintained uh, and the consistency is not been available so easily in that one right now if you take even the uh, flight a, a airline uh, booking system what is been there even that is also a online database where each and every minute the flight prices are being changed the the flights have been changed there is a landing there is a takeoff of the flights so that database is online and it is been changing every moment so that data also has to be stored and it has to be made sure that it is been uh, in case if any disaster is been there it has to recover from that particular period of the time so i think you people are understanding now what is this consistency of the data of the database using the online and the offline right now when i'm being want this online consistency sorry online uh, consistency of the of the database then i need to apply uh, a principle called as the dependent right principle or uh, by holding the io momentarily okay so what it is going to do is it is going to write a using the right io is not issued until the prior applications are been completely written for example if you all people remember we are using the term called as a log file in the database so that it is going to tell us that this much or this particular period of the time all the data is being stored all the operations is being stored so the log file is going to maintain the complete transactions being done for example if i say that i am performing the transactions from 4 to 430 right and if this data is not been available in the log file right or in the log database whatever we have been talking then i can say that if i try to recover the data then this is said to be as inconsistent data right because the content is not been written into the log file now if in case all the transactions between 4 to 430 is been stored in the log file you have been able to get all the data been there then i can say this has to be consistent data so until and unless all the right operations are not been done at that particular period of the time then we can't say it as a consistent data 
now you can check here in this particular diagram we have a database application having a buffer in which the transactions are being taking place as one two three and fourth and the fourth operation you can check that is the log operation being done right so this log operation is going to look out for all the operations that is being done using for the transaction one two three and four so these all have to be performed continuously okay now there are the two examples he's been taking where he is comparing one for the consistent data and the another one is for the inconsistent data now for example if i say that and the transaction 1 2 3 and 4 are to be performed and the replica is being created before it has been written into the log file all these transactions have to be complete then i am going to get a consistent data right all these operations have to be done if in case they are interrelated also then those all operations have to be completed then i can say that the data is consistent now if you check in this one only the transaction third is being written that is the log file you have been uploading but the transaction one and two are not being performed but actually if you take that those operations have to be also performed but they are not being copied into the replica file but it is available in the log file stating that only transaction three and four are being done then in such a case i can say it has to be a inconsistent replica because but to complete the transaction 3 even the transaction 2 and 1 have to be completed if in case there is a power loss also only the operation 3 is available for me but operation 1 and 2 is not been available then again at that time also we can say that this is to be a inconsistent replica so to get this consistent replicas at any particular period of the time all the operations the devices and all have to be available and it has to be restored if in case if in case we are trying to get the data it has to be made at that particular period of the time the io devices to be made available so that the transactions is being complete and they we are going to get the consistency so this consistency is very much important whenever we are creating these replicas even i am been saying even a minute change is been done if it is not been replicated and that snapshot is not av available then we are going to get some error uh, pages or error messages whenever we load that one for example if i have to say you is you are booting your system and one of the file is been corrupted that means that copy is not been available i can say that the operating system is not been consistent what it was been previously been there so you will not be able to process any of the operations okay so this was all about the local replication uh, in case you are having any doubt so you can uh, drop the message in the blog thank you